speaking of snow, mm -hmm. we're going to head back outside at this hour and we're talking about footprints mm -hmm. that you might have come across during a beautiful snowshoe or maybe mm -hmm. some cross-country skiing and you wonder where they're from. And we're going to try to identify them this morning too. Spencer Thomas will anyway. She is live in Waterbury Center. Hey, Spence. Hey, good morning, everyone. That's right. So we're live here at Putnam State Park. And like you guys said, we're taking part in animal an animal tracking activity. And the snow is pretty clean here. It is coming down, so we're not having too much luck on finding those tracks. But we're going to learn a little bit more about what comes with the activity. So I'm here with Allie Thomas, uh, Vermont Fish and Wildlife. And so the educational opportunities you and I were just talking about are endless with this activity. So tell us a little bit more about this and why we're holding these <laughs> right here. Yeah, absolutely. When when, you, when it comes to tracking, if you're an educator in any realm, the possibilities are endless. It's very interdisciplinary. I know high school teachers who teach geometry students using tracking, wow. and I know a lot of you know elementary and even preschool teachers who use tracking to talk about just kind of to do inquiry based, you know, ask questions and, and test hypotheses with their students, mm -hmm. follow tracks, create stories, write stories, draw, do math, do science, use rulers to measure. So it's very interdisciplinary and, right. and really the possibilities are endless at any age. Um, we're holding these yeah. because the Let's department see has um, what are called fur bear kits and they're available to educators for free to check out for a, a couple days or so and um, they're great learning tools so when I teach tracking I also bring pelts because if I see a, a red fox track I'm also going to show my participants oh look at here's the here's the red fox skull and here's the pelt oh, okay. and, this is and look at you have right it there. is yep and so can we can it, yeah right? absolutely Look at that. And we can look at the anatomy and, and talk about kind of why it's evolved in a certain way and, and how it's adapted to its local environment. And what I think is neat about using props like this is it directly relates to the surrounding habitat. And, right. and wild species look the way they do because they need to find food, water, shelter, space, and survive. And so we look at those adaptations, both physical, and, and it speaks to their behavioral adaptations. Absolutely. And it speaks to the environment that they're in. And so, like I said, the possibilities are endless with education, whether you're a formal teacher or just a curious person and want to learn. Our department does wildlife tracking hikes just for the public too. Uh -huh. And so I just think it's a really valuable learning tool. We also have tracking cards oh, those um, are cool. on our website that have common tracks that you would see in Vermont year round, but certainly in the winter time too, which are really helpful with a ruler. Um, this is about as fancy as you need to get. You certainly okay. don't have to have pelts and skulls with right, you, right. but I like to bring them just to kind of enrich no, the it's learning. Good if you're a visual learner too, Absolutely, you know, it's nice yeah. to see. So thank you so much for bringing these out and yeah. thank you so much for being with us here today. We're actually going to be talking a little bit more about the educational opportunities and we're going to try to find some tracks here as the snow is falling down. Thanks again, Ellie, for joining us Absolutely. here today. We're going to stay here at Putnam State Park, so stay with us for our next half hour because we will indeed have more for you. But for now, we're live here at Waterbury Centro Center. Sorry. Back to you, ladies. She did it again. Her poor feel mouth. You, Spence. Don't worry about it. She's Take frozen. Your time. It's quite pretty out there. Though. We're learning a lot, too. We are. Yeah. Thank you, Spence.